things that we don't deserve, he give them anyway. Amen. We just let go and let God. Amen. We can humble ourselves down in his presence and say, God, I just thank you. God, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise, God. Father, you are worthy, God. Oh, God, I ask you, God, to just look down on us, God. Have your way in us, God. Have your way, God. Keep us going up before you, God. Have your way in us, God. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. We got to be committed, sold out. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. So many ways, things get in our way, so many struggles yes, each and every day. Yes, yes. It causes us to get weak minded. Yep. Cause us to want to give up on life and cause us to want to give up on Jesus the Christ. But when we begin to reflect back the way he brought us from us. Amen. We know that one day we won't say. But one day he looked down on us and saw that we need a savior. Yes. Yeah. He came to our rescue. He came to our rescue so many different ways. Yes, yes, Every time you look around, yeah. he's there. Even when you ain't looking, he's still there. Amen. Amen. So I want to think about this word on today that God has given to his children. Because if you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior, you now belong to him. Amen. I belong to you. Amen. It doesn't matter what people say about you. How bad they treat you. Just don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. When you need a doctor. Ain't nobody come in your room with no hope. But Jesus still right in there. Let you know that he's able. Yes. That's why we got to be sold out to him. Yes. So many things happening in the other parts of the world. And God has blessed us so much that we don't have to experience some of those things. Yes. Therefore, we ought to give him a praise and tell him, thank you, God. Amen. We don't know when. Or where or what's going to happen. All we got to do is hold on to God to change it. If you're afraid of losing your life, it's lost already. You don't have life to keep it was given to Christ. The one that have power over life and death. So I greet you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. I want you to think about this message on the day. How he going to tell it, I don't know. All I know is that I'm willing. I yield the vessel that's sold out for. Sometimes they call you crazy and stupid. That's right. Say so you think you all that. Come on. Hey. Come on, come on. But I give my life to him. I trust him with everything I have. Had not been for God, we would have nothing. Amen. He sent his only begotten son. Son gave up his life for you and I. So I want you to stand on your feet and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. I thank you for my husband on the day. Amen. Thank you, I love you, honey. Thank you for my little grands that Lord allow us to pour into them. I, I still am not thinking about you. Come on, Jesus. But we try to pour as much as we can while we can. Come on, Jesus. Thank you for Evans and Scott this morning. God bless you. Thank you for our MC, uh, Prophet Hen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Dick and the Branch.
Thank you, Deacon. This hint. God bless you. Thank you, Deacon Scott. God bless you. Thank you, all of you out there. I love you. I love you. Thank you for your calls, your phone calls, your gifts. Amen. The prayer that you pray for little old man. Don't stop praying. Please don't stop. But God is so wonderful. Yes, he is. Glory to God. Oh, God. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Oh. Yes, Lord. He's talking to God. Speaking about God to the true Christians, Amen. true children of God. Lord, I thank you. If today you are not where you need to be, My God. you got time today to get right. Yes. Amen. Yes. You got time today to ask for his forgiveness. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Jesus. You got time today to open yourself down and lay before him. You got time. I don't care what people said about your husband or your wife. That's right. If God put you together, he put you together for a reason. Yeah. And he said what you put together, don't go back to trash again. Amen. Amen. Stick and stay with God. Yes, and God will Come lead on, you to the right God. place. Yes, he will. He'll send the right man into your life, the right woman in your life. Amen. If you just hold on and hold out. Hold on. But we want to sell for anything because that's the first thing I saw. But sometimes you meet people by accident. Because God has driven you that way. Amen. And them that way. God sees more than we can think or imagine. Amen. This word today come out of the book of St. John. And we all know who St. John was. Mm -hmm. Lord, I think. You keep on reading about him. If you don't know about him, come on in the Bible study. Come on now. You'll know what he is and who he is. Amen. But this John is a powerful man of God. He writes this to prove conclusively that Jesus is the Son of God. And that all who believe in him, I said, all that will believe in him. We have eternal life. Amen. This John is an apostle. He's the son of Zebedee. Mm -hmm. Had a brother named James. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. When we learn more about John, we'll see that he was sold out mm -hmm. to Jesus. He began reading in John the eighth chapter. 31st verse, verse, and I'm just going to read to 32. I'm reading out the King James Version of the Bible. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. My God. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to sit Elma down and allow your Holy Spirit to overshadow God. That you would speak, Father God, what you will have your people to speak on the day, God. I'm a servant willing to be used. Lord, I'm available for you to use. I pray now to God that you will unstop every ear. Through the spirit of the living God. Yes, sir. Let us hear what you are going to tell us on the day. Yes, we'll follow God and understand it, that your word will not come back forward. So we thank you. You said you sent your word out. And it healed them all. Yes, so Father, rest on us today. Yes, as we hear you, Father God. Yes. And Lord, move by your power yes. and your glory. If there's any in here that need to be delivered on the day, Father, deliver. Yes, Lord. If there's any here that need your saving grace on yes, the day, yes, yes, yes. do it for your glory. Yes, Lord. 
if there's anybody here or going to hear this word that's downtrodden on today, yes. we pray this word will elevate them to higher heights and to deeper depths. We depend on you. We acknowledge you in all our ways. And we tell you thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. And you may be seated. Thank you, If I was to use a text today, it would be, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Verse 32. And I just want to leave a little simple word with you today. Free me with the truth. Free me with the truth. You see, I can't say everybody's going to get free. What I can do is talk about myself. Lord, free me with the truth. I pray that you will ask him to free you with the truth. And then Jesus began to tell them that he is the truth. He said, and Jesus answered, he said in verse 14, and said unto them, Thou, though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know which I came and whether I go, but you can't go or you can't tell whence I come. And whether I go. He began to tell me in verse 12, Jesus speaking to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. He that fathered me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light, light of life. Mm -hmm. Also, another verse, he began to tell them, Amen, I go my way. All right now. And ye seek me and shall die in your sin. Whether I go, you can't go. Uh -huh. Amen. You can't go because you got so much self in you. Amen. You can't go because you got too much devilness in you. Come on. You can't go because you got too much mess in you. Come on. But you better tell somebody, take me to the truth. Yeah. Amen. I want to be set free. Uh, yeah. You can't go because you're a liar and a hypocrite. Uh, come on, somebody. You can't go because you want it your way. Uh, amen. You can't go because this ain't Burger King. Uh, somebody tell God, thank you. You can't go because you don't trust me. You're trusting in your own self. Uh, you can't go because you don't want to acknowledge who I am. You can't go because you don't do what the word say do. All right. You can't do because you don't want to. Come on, Jesus. Amen. But he Amen. said you got to be so down. Yes, what is truth? It's sincerity in action. All right now, God. It's your character <laughs> and utterance. All right. The state of being, the case is the fact of oh, truth. Come on. It's the body of the real things, the events, the actuality. Amen. The Greek word for truth is aletheia. Amen. You got to gird yourself up with truth because you don't know when you're going to get attacked. Uh, Amen. You can't wait till you get attacked. Praise God. Amen. And try to put your arm on. Amen. You're going to die right where you are. Amen. But you better dress up with your armor every day. Amen. Amen. Your armor. Praise God. And you ought to know where it will protect you from my old hurt and danger. I'm talking about your spiritual. Amen. Amen. Your spiritual. Your spiritual. Your spiritual dress up. Come on, somebody. Your spiritual likeness has got to be a God. Yes, man. Amen. Can't be a man. Amen. Man made a lot of equipment. But it won't help you like the help of God's equipment. Amen. Amen. You got to put on the whole armor. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. That you might be able to stand against. Praise God. The wiles of the devil. What are the tricks of the devil? The devil got many tricks. Yes, and now this world of a liar. More than they love somebody to tell the truth. Come on, Jesus. Every day we're being lied to. Yes. And so we get to the point that we get lied to so much we believe the lie. Some can't separate truth from a lie. Come on, somebody.
somebody. Just because they speak it out of their mouth, it don't mean that it's true. Just because they got the look to make you think they're telling the truth, don't mean they're telling the truth. Come on, somebody. That's why you got to get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I don't hear nobody. But in hell, up in hell, I want you to understand that God got a way that's mighty sweet. Don't think you can control nothing. All right. Amen. Because you can't even control yourself. Okay. How you over here trying to control somebody else in their situation where you jacked up on the floor? Come on, yeah, man. Right. But you want to talk about everybody else. Come on, you gotta sweep around your own door. Right. Man. You want somebody else's relationship to be bad because your relationship is bad. Yeah. You don't want them to have nothing because you got them. You want them not to have. Well, what makes you think you better than somebody else? If God bless you, he going to bless somebody else. Take me to the truth. Free me with the truth. Well, he said, now look at him. You can't fail record. I've got record on myself. Yes, my record is true. Verse 14. For I know whence I came and whether I go. But you can't go whence I come and whether I go. It ain't none of your business. If you ain't a child of God, don't look for nothing, no direction. Amen. I want to be free. Well, if you want to be free, get free. Don't get your situations hold you up. You can get free. Well, I just, I just want one more little drink. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and on. take your one more drink. On. Go ahead and that might be your last drink. I just want to have one more affair. Amen. Because it feels so good to the flesh. Well, keep on going on. having fun. I'm just going to keep telling lies. Because people listen to me when I tell lies. People love lies better than they do the truth. What the word of God said, a lie you will not tear it in his sight. Amen. So what you need to do if you want to live in him, you ought to stop lying. Don't call me with your lie. Amen. Call me tell you that ain't your God. Come on. See, if you want the telephone to stop ringing, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You don't have to worry about nobody calling you. Talk 
like you. Amen. They can't get in my car. Car I can't get that smell out of my car. Honey, you smell worse than they are. You got the word, but you ain't doing nothing with the word. You got the word, the word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Truth is a personal experience. I can't go by what your experience was. Because my experience ain't like yeah, your experience. Yeah, Yesterday we were in class and we said, how you know you've been called by God? Uh, everybody had a different testimony. Uh, but the same outcome was that God had done a mighty work uh, yeah. in them. Uh, somebody tell God thank you. Yeah, uh, our personal experience is getting to know God through his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, mm -hmm. There are four primary activities in knowing God. Teaching, fellowship, Meaning church attention, breaking bread, where you can worship and praise the God up in here, up in here. And you can have a special, a uh, personal attention by just having a little talk with you. He'll make everything all right. Now there's a path to truth. What is that path? Psalm 43, 3 and 4 says, Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Amen. Let me let them leave me. I don't want to be led with lies, nope. distortion. Nope. But if you send out your light and your truth, let them leave me. Let them bring me unto the holy hill yes. oh and unto thy tabernacles. Somebody ain't telling the truth no more. Mm -hmm. Well, when they see you doing something Monday through Sunday, the same thing that they doing. And then Sunday morning comes, they're going to say, I ain't going to church. Well, I'm going in there for with them big hypocrites. Mm. I'll just tell them, come on, baby, let me one more hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There'll be one more hypocrite that God can speak truth in your life. Just one more. One more. Can I get one more? One more. He's going to speak truth in you. You ain't going out of here the same way you came in. Yeah, you came in on yourself and you ain't looking for nothing for God. I'm just going to show you. See what they're going to say today. <laughs> Baby, I ain't got nothing to say to you. But the Lord is my shepherd. Come on, I shall not want. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceedingly joy, praise God. Yea, upon the heart will I praise him. Oh God, my God. Uh, amen. We got some good. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, keyboard player. Uh, amen. The best of the best. Uh, we got an excellent drummer. Uh, a drummer. Praise God. But they can't make you praise God. That's right. All they can do is play skillfully. That's right. If you ain't got no experience with God, you are gonna sit there like a bump on the log. Wait with somebody. If they get up, I get up. And then if somebody else get up and start praising. Them, here you go, want to praise them too. Baby, how come you couldn't lead the way? And just let the praise go. Where the praise came from? Yes, so you got to wait for somebody else to get your praise. So you ought to came in with a praise. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. I'm going to give you the truth today. You might not come back next week. But you're going to have the truth this week. Amen. Amen. Come out with plenty of church. We're acting crazy and stupid. Come on. Because somebody acting crazy and stupid. I keep telling y'all, misery love comes. Yes, if you are happy, I want you to be a baby. Don't come on, knock on my door. Because yeah. happy, unhappiness don't live here. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. I mean, he don't worry. Luther Van Grove, Whitney Houston, and Stephen Warren. Saying that you are my friend. What a friend we have in Jesus. You don't need to find him. You can. But if you know him deep on the inside of you, to know that he knows me, the best friend that we can ever have. Somebody can take me to the truth. Take me to the truth. Look at here. The holy hill is Mount Zion in Jerusalem. A city that King David now, he are now are named in the capital of Israel. It's a place where people meet God to worship and to have prayer and praise. 
They asked God to send his light and truth to give them and to meet him in the temple. You remember the woman that was humped back in the temple? Mm -hmm. Amen. You couldn't stay at the temple if you want up a certain age. But she was there all being over. Come on, somebody. She was in the right place at the right time. Can I get anybody to say amen? Amen. Come on, somebody. She wasn't looking for nothing but Jesus. She probably didn't even know who was in the midst. And she was still working with a humpback. Yeah. Baby, why you can't work? It ain't nothing wrong with you. Come on. But he looked on and said, Woman, thou art loose. Yeah, Have we got any women up in here today? Up in here today. Yes, and want to be loose Hallelujah. and set free. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to be loose and set free, let go of whatever it is that's holding you down. Come, yeah. on. Come on, somebody. Amen. Be real. Amen. I got a hand in it. I can't break. I know you can't. Mm. I couldn't either. Come on. But I had to take it to Jesus. Yes. Come on. When he told me, I'm going to let you experience some stuff. But when you get through experiencing, amen, when you want real love, all you got to do is wait on me and be of good courage. Yeah. And I will strengthen your heart. Yeah. Yes. You when you want to experience anything in life, all you got to do is wait, wait on God. On David said, I sought him. And the Lord heard me. Wait on him. Don't be sorry about your situation, but God can change it at any time. When you're in the midst of your situation, begin to pray for somebody else because somebody else pray God got a worse than you have. Just give God the glory and say, God help my sister. God help my brother. God help them when they're weak and torn down. Father God, pick them up. We need to turn them around. I know you're able, God, to do a single abundance more Lord, that we can think to ask of you, God. You are able to quench the fire of God that is in me. Bring our way. You are able, God, to allow me to lift you up. I know, God, when I first came to you, glory be to God, I was feeling sorry for myself. Come on, somebody. You've been in that state. But when I turn around and I look yes. where you brought me from, all I can do is say, thank you, God. I want a real God that get a real truth. I want him to tell me all about myself. I want him to show me my way. They're crooked and perverse. But God, I tell you, thank you. You got the plumb line. You can show me where I need to be. You can show me how far I'm out. Come on, God. Show me. Take me to the truth. Well, you ask for it. If you feel surrounded by darkness and uncertainty, follow God's light and truth all the way to Him with a sincere heart. We talked about Sunday school this morning. God knows your heart. He knew them that was in the midst of him. Right that didn't have a pure heart. And he gave them an opportunity. Just like he's giving this world an opportunity today to change their mindset. But we still want to do it like brother man. Brother man going to hell. And you are too. Huh? Because you won't receive truth. He said his word. The truth will make you free. And there's another scripture that says, the true will set you free. And who the son set free? free I didn't hear your body. I said, free. who the son set free? It's free indeed. Free Amen. Uh, amen. But uh, Second Chronicles, uh, amen, begin to tell us. Uh, but when, uh, we, if thou go, uh, do it. Be strong uh, for the battle. Uh, the battle ain't yours. Uh, God shall make thee uh, fall before the enemy. Uh, for God has power to help and to cast down. Uh, amen. And then he said, uh, hallelujah. Uh, and Amber, um, uh, Azira, uh, amen, to the men of God. Uh, but what shall 
we do uh, for the hundred talents uh, which have given uh, the armor of Israel uh, and the man of God uh, answered and said uh, the Lord Jehovah uh, he's able uh, to give thee more uh, than they uh, come on somebody uh, they are men uh, they got many devices uh, men with hearts uh, got heart conditions uh, men that take counsel but they don't take counsel from God uh, right. they take counsel for the ungodly do you know how many people got therapists mm. mm-hmm. giving all your money mm-hmm. to somebody that needs Jesus more than you do? Mm-hmm. You should be going in there giving them some advice. Mm-hmm. But you're going to go in there and lay on their couch. <laughs> Tell them all your problems. Can I help you today? Help, help, help. Okay. Take them to Jesus. Take them to Jesus. Take them. Well, you don't have to pay nothing. Amen. You got more people today with psychological problems. Lord, I Come on, Pastor. They just learned that we've been messed up forever. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to scratch your head. I said, Lord, help me then. What can Amen. I tell this one? Take them to the truth. Amen. Amen. Because the truth was going to set them free. Well, that's too much by spirit. I need somebody I can touch and talk to. You can talk to Jesus. You can touch Reach. <laughs> Go ahead, Pastor. I know you don't feel them, but he feel your touch. Yes, Take them to Jesus. Yes, the Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Come on, Pastor. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. You going out to a battle, huh? Amen. And you got all these people mm-hmm. that you done told your problem to. But when you look around, ain't none of them there. Uh-uh. Come on. Uh-huh. It's all to nobody but me. My God and I, nobody but me, my God and I. That's what he intended to say. Huh? Those four, or ever how many it was that took that man and let him down through the roof. All right now. Come on, somebody. It was God that orchestrated that. But the action was hinged on what the person Oh, the cart work gonna do? <coughs> you on the cart now. What you gonna do about that? Nobody but me, my God and I. He said, rise up. Mm-hmm. You gonna rise up. Rise up. Take up your <laughs> bed. <laughs> And go on to the iron house. Yeah. I, I can't go over there. Huh? Cause where I live is all messed up. Huh? <laughs> Ain't nobody in there serving God. But baby, when you go up in there, gonna be a change. Yeah. 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 You are the change agent. Yeah. Yeah. You need to take Jesus on in there. Yeah. And just twirl around and nobody yeah. but me, my <laughs> God and I. They're gonna look at you crazy, but change gonna come. Yeah. Yeah. He told you don't look to the left. No, look to the right. right. But look up to the hill for which coming your face. Oh! My help. Your help. Our help. Coming from the Lord. Be the best version of you that you can be for God. Come on, somebody. Lord, I ain't got it all right, but if you just help me. Help me, Jesus. I need your help today. Girl, yesterday said she was shacking. God was calling her. She said, I know God will call the man. She said, but the stuff I had to, anybody been that way? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said, but the stuff I did, I didn't recognize that God could use me. Uh-huh. But God got the tugging on her so bad, she went back and told her boyfriend, said, look here. We can't do this no more. Uh-huh. Either you going to have to leave, or I'm going to leave, or we going to get mad. She said, my God, I went down to the church house. Come on, somebody. I began to confess my sins. Come on, somebody. She said, when she got in there, amen, she got baptized. Somebody tell God. She said it was a refreshing water. When she got up out of the water, she knew she had been changed. And said she looked behind her. Her boyfriend was right behind her. He got changed, too. Amen, amen. how God going to use us. I know I ain't the only one to hear the shot. Come on, somebody. I've been saying that, but I've been trying. Huh? 
See, you can't tell on me, because I'm telling my own say. You ain't got no gun holding me, tell me not to. I'm going to say whatever God is telling me. Hey, hey, it's up to you to receive it if you want to. I'm trying to help you be free. Amen. 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 Give them all your milk free. <laughs> then when your milk is dried up, they're going to go on over here. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But when you do it the right way, when you do it the right way, look at here now. You got two necessary instead of one. Yeah. You got proof right there. Come on. Come on, somebody. You got proof right in your church if you just look for it. Look for it. Tell the truth. Amen. But now, and look, you get comfortable, mm -hmm. relaxed, mm -hmm. confident, and ready to celebrate with the world. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many looked at the game yesterday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wanted, I love state, but it just wanted in my spirit they were win. Yeah. <laughs> Will you show off? <laughs> That's my team, man. <laughs> but when you show off, come on. You ain't asked God to help you. You All just right. think you're going up there on your yes. own. Out there with them cornfield boys. Come on. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Come on, you got to have something more than a hoop. <laughs> you got to have some skills in you. Come on, Jesus. And look here. Mm -hmm. They lost. Uh -huh. But they should have known. <laughs> Practice made perfect. Yes, right. They ain't seen you all the way down there for you to cut the food and take pictures. Right. Come on, somebody. Every time I saw them, they were in the camp. They ain't never show them out there on the, on the basketball field or, or court practicing. So when did they practice? Look, we got to practice this word every day or out. It's our tool. Pray God is our instruction. But when you get comfortable with the word, when you want the Beyonce, uh, she got a cowboy hit, uh, 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 song out there, and everybody got to dance for the cowboy. Uh, baby, you better dance with Jesus. Take it a swim. You don't know who the devil is using. But she good. Good at what? Is she good at serving God? That's what I want to see. And they good at praising him. Did they not donate any of that money they got to the church? Huh? Or they just trying to get in every avenue they can. See, don't follow the world. The world will lead you astray. We get, we let our defense down. And Satan comes to attack on all sorts of levels. With temptation. When you win, watch out. Because both demons come. Mm, you were strong in the Lord and power in his might. You better make sure you got the whole arm of God. Come on, Jesus. Take me to the truth. After the mountain peak comes the valley. You make foolish mistakes and begin to worship gods other than the God that you serve. You're going to worship other nations now. Amen. I've been all over the world. And I don't care what they did. Take me to where Jesus is preach. Yeah, yeah. They say, Ellen, we ain't going to church. I don't care where you're going to mm -hmm. Get me a cab. Uh -huh. I go in the book and find they say. I say, okay, I can listen at them. Because they Baptists. Or they believers. Or the word. Been all over the world and every sit out with me and I went to church. Amen. They say, you're going to them dog holes. Sure will. Because <laughs> I got God with me. He going to keep me. And he kept me. When I got in the car, I said, click up. And I tell the driver, I got a picture of you and I send it to a certain person. So if I get missed, the first one they going to come and get is you. <laughs> you got to know. You got to know. You just don't get it. I don't care what taxi you in. Say it, pal. Who you ride with? That's right. Your boys. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's take a ride. That's what they call each other now. Men and women. Where has the respect gone? <laughs> take me to the truth. How you gonna love somebody and call me your bro? Huh? Ain't gonna work. Oh man, bro. I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Yeah, I know you're tired. You ought to tell him or her to take you to Jesus. You're tired of your own self. Truth mm -hmm. always is timely. It applies today in the culture or the future, and it never changed because it's connected to God. 
Numbers 23 and 19 say, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? Shall he not do it? Or has he spoken and shall it not be good? We have got to have some spiritual victory yes. in our lives. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God, don't go back out here doing the same thing you did before you came in here. If you want praise to God, go out of this door praising him. Amen. Don't say, I'm ready to eat now. You better tell God he th and thank him for the word, Amen. which is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. You better tell God, thank you didn't kill me when I was in my midst. I can eat any time, but I want to get this yeah. spirit Take me to Jesus. I need to be washed. I need to be made whole. Truth is connected to with God changeless character. It is also changeless. The Bible has beheld the truth of times and still the best seller of all books. It's still the Bible. But it got so many versions of the Bible out there now. If you have took and taken one and took the time, you see how many words they left out. Words have meaning. Yes, so when you're going to read and something else that ain't of God, you don't lost part of your reasoning. Mm -hmm. Because God is truth. And you not cannot trust the word to guide you to eternal life if it ain't truth. It requires commitment. And by faith, we must act on truth. Come on, somebody. Faith be that works today. Yeah. Proverbs 12 and 17. He that speaketh truth shows forth righteousness for the false witness of deceit. You know they tried to get Jesus the same way. Right. Amen. They called liars up against him and said he done all these things. But truth still revealed. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He was destined to go to the cross. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He was destined to die. Yeah. Amen. For mankind. Yeah. Although we believe in him, he was destined to not let nothing stop him along the way. Well, we talk about him in Genesis. He's the creator of God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. In Exodus, he's our redeemer. Yeah. In Leviticus, he's our holiness. In number, he's our God. In Deuteronomy, he's our teacher. In Joshua, he's the mighty conqueror. In Jersey, he's the perfect king. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. In Sample, he's a powerful prophet. Come on, somebody. You better hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. In verse 7 Kings, he's the reigning king. In verse 7 Chronicles, he's our intercessor and our high priest. Well, what about in the New Testament? I'm so glad that you asked me about the New Testament. I want to give you some encouragement today that you can run this race a little bit longer. I want you to give you some encouragement today to let you know. Hallelujah. Matthew, he was born the Savior of the world. Come on, somebody. And he's the king of the Jews. And not only he's the king of the Jews, he's the king of every believer. In Mark, he's a faithful son servant. In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the son of God. In Acts, he's the risen Lord and the Savior of the world. Well, let me take it down to verse Thessalonians. He is your hope. Your hope for the day and tomorrow. Come on, somebody. In 2 Thessalonians, he's the glory. The glory of the Lord shining all around us. Can I get anybody to say yes? If you don't know who he is, let me give you a little bit more hope. In Timothy, He's your mediator. Yeah. You got to have a mediator. Yeah. In 2 Timothy, he's your master. In Titus, he's our blessed hope. In Philemon, he's our benefactor. Come on, somebody. In Hebrews, he's your great high priest. Yeah. Glory be to God in Judges. He is your judge. In James, he is your judge. In Peter, he is your example. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yeah. In second pity, he is your purity. In first John, he is your life. He's the bishop of your soul. In second John, he is your pattern. In third John, he is your truth. Take me to the truth. I want to see the truth. The truth is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. The truth went to the cross for over 2,000 years ago for you and I. The truth hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. The sun 
sun and the moon and the stars. Hallelujah. Begin to get dark. The truth yelled out. Eli, Eli, Satan, my God, my God, my God, why has it spoken? Why have you, uh, uh, why have you forsaken me? Who kept speaking? He said, Father, forgive them. Well, they know not what they do. Uh, the truth kept right on. Uh, amen. Showing himself uh, to everybody. Uh, after he got through saying uh, the last seven saying uh, the truth locked his head uh, in the lock of his shoulder. Uh, begin to give up the ghost. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, the truth laid there uh, on the first night. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, the truth, Jesus Christ. Uh, he laid there on the third night. Uh, on the second night. Uh, but on the third day morning. Uh, early in the morning, uh, truth got up. Uh, Mary went down to the tomb. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, peeped in the tomb. Uh, and they said, Why you looking uh, for the living among the dead? Uh, have we got anybody in here uh, the day to day? Uh, you need a living God to breathe on you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The God we serve rose up on the third day. And he'll talk to you. He began to call out Mary. Yes, yes, yes. Mary didn't understand who he was until she heard him call her name. Yes, He'll call your name yes, too. Yes, he Emma. Ah. Got to turn around and see. Is that the one I've been talking to? Jesus. Rabboni. Master. He said, wait. Don't touch me yet. I have not ascended. But go tell them boys. Them, them 11 that are still alive to meet me down by the Galilee River. Come on, somebody. Amen. Old Big Mouth Peter had told everybody, I'm going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he will follow you when you got influence. Yes, uh -huh. You better make sure you give out the right influence. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to come back on you. The tables will turn on you. Yeah. What you going to do when the tables turn? Well, I don't think gonna turn on me. Okay, keep living, keep right on living, keep right on living. Come on, Jesus, and watch what God would do. Amen. Proverbs twelve and twenty says, "Deceit is the heart of them that imagine evil, but the counsel of peace is joy." You see, when he got up on that third day morning. He got up with joy. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He looked back at that grave. Come on, come on. He looked back at death and said, Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? He said, I got the keys of hell dangling in my hand. Hallelujah. Y'all believe it? Stay with me in Revelation. You're going to see it. Yes, amen. Amen. This thing. Is the truth. I want you to know today that if you don't have it, today is your lucky day. Amen. You can have yeah. this truth. Yes, and guess what? A lot of things you got to pay for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get nothing free no more. Oh, but boy. there's one thing you can get free. That is Jesus the Christ. Amen. He don't charge you a thing. He already paid All you got to do is have a willing heart. And said, Lord, clean me up. Lord, I want to be saved. Yes, Lord. I want to be right. And I receive your truth. And the next thing you know, huh, that one he used to be a midnight crawler. Huh? Come on, somebody. Is now a daytime praiser. Come on, have I got anybody in the midst? Huh? That one that drink alcohol all night. Huh? Now they serve in communion. Huh? Have I got anybody here? Huh? That one that evangelized all night long. Huh? Going from man to man. Huh? But now they evangelize huh? to the word of God. Huh? So, oh, Jesus, huh? you for your glory. I want to be made whole. That lying now. Amen. Begin to tell you that Jesus is the truth. I know. I know because I used to be a liar. But now I've been set free. You can tell them your story. Because truth will make it free. They get to talk about you and you worried about what somebody say about you. Baby, you got a name change now. 
Your name ain't the same no more, so you can look at them when they start telling you the stuff. They ain't talking about me. Ah, that old person dead now. I'm a new person in Christ. Well, ain't you going to say something to one more say? I'm just going to take them to Jesus. Because they need help. Look, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to give out your help. Let them know. Jesus died for you. He took that lie to the cross. And all the mother ones you tell them, he took them to the cross. Now, if you don't want yours to go to the cross, come on, come on, just back up off of me. Yeah, cause I don't want that spirit on me. Don't you know spirits travel? Yes, yes. Huh? yes They will follow you. Come on, they will follow you wherever you go. Uh, My pastor said she went to her brother's house. I'm gonna leave up with this. Brother had called her up there to pray for her. She did now, mm -hmm. and said she prayed for him, mm -hmm. and. By the time she got back home, her brother would call and say, Come back! Come back! You left one! She left one demon up in there. But after all she done gave him, he should have had enough power to keep that one out. Right. <laughs> the one that probably had the demon, it was him. So you gotta understand, what's on the inside of you? Huh? What, what you pack? Huh? Do you want to change? Or do you still want to be the same? See, if you go out here and tell somebody the truth is Jesus the Christ, and you go over there and tell somebody else, you have some more coming. Because they want to know the truth. It ain't in the people, it's in God. Revelation, he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the theme of the Bible. The whole Bible points to him. If you know the Bible, you don't know Jesus, you miss the point. Please don't miss the point today. I love to praise.